Welcome to Influential Entrepreneurs, bringing you interviews with elite business leaders and experts, sharing tips and strategies for elevating your business to the next level. Here's your host, Mike Saunders. Hello and welcome to this episode of Influential Entrepreneurs. This is Mike Saunders, the Authority Positioning Coach. Today we have with us Chelsea Martin, who's one of the co-owners of NOMS Bake Shop. Chelsea, welcome to the program. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Hey, so I want to get a little bit of your background and what your company does and dive into corporate gifting and all that fun stuff, but give us a little bit of uh, what led you um, and your husband to start this company. Sure. Um, yeah, it's quite, <laughs> I mean, quite the ride. So my husband and I met in uh, 2014, and shortly thereafter, I was just getting out of grad school, actually lived in Los Angeles at the time, and he, uh, he lived in Phoenix, and so I relocated over back to Phoenix, which, which is where I'm from, and um, we kind of got to a place around, you know, late 2014, um, where we were finding both of ourselves kind of in a spot of not super passionate about what we're doing. Um, and that was just simply because I had relocated and was kind of finding my footing into what I wanted to do back in Phoenix. And um, we had just kind of started dating. And so I was getting to know his family. And at the time, he was getting to know mine. And we went on a family vacation. And his we went on a family vacation with my family. And his parents sent with him a like really sweet um, gift basket just filled with these confections that his father had made as just, you know, for a hobby. He was retired and liked uh, to make cookies and different types of sweets. And so they sent them our way. And my parents' reaction was, you know, the same as mine, which was just that everything was amazing. Of course, my parents are very entrepreneurial. And so they you know, jumped into that kind of traditional response that um, Trevor's father, Mike, had received a lot, which was, you should sell these. Um, And that's kind of normal. You know, when anybody likes something, they're like, you should sell these. And you don't really necessarily take it seriously, especially somebody who's a retired computer programmer who is not looking to start a job anytime soon. Um, However, my husband is also very entrepreneurial And being as he was kind of in a place that he was looking for something to be a little bit more passionate about in regards to a day-to-day or a career, he did start to work with his father on maybe developing something as kind of just a side hobby. Uh, His dad is very social, so it was an opportunity for his dad to kind of get out of the house and go connect and talk with people. And so they created... Uh, noms as just a very small company that was just selling cookies to farmers markets and at call centers uh, in the Phoenix Valley. And the reaction from people there, I think, really validated something that they were used to. So Trevor, my husband, grew up with these cookies. So to him, he sees these reactions, but he wasn't gauging it properly. It was almost like he was so used to it that they tasted normal. The bar for him was set way higher. Um, So I think seeing other people react that way really reinforced this idea that, you know, they might have something. And at the same time as this was happening on a very small scale, um, we got to a point in the holiday season where my my uh, parents who are business owners, they were receiving tons of holiday gifts from partners or colleagues, and that usually came in the form of a gift basket. Um, and that is a very thoughtful gift, and it is something that, you know, is very appreciated. But as the holidays, you know, get closer and closer, you just start to see the same gift basket stacked on the counter, you know, that the kids inevitably break into and steal the crackers or whatever, you know, and so it started to be these same gift baskets. And that isn't to no fault of the sender at all, but it is just a product of what happens when you're trying to corporate gift and you have a lot of people on your list and you want to send something meaningful, but you also don't know how to blanket send a gift that will be good for everybody. So that kind of sparked an idea of you know, how can we fit into this space? How can we use our amazing cookies and our product 
and fit into a corporate gifting space or the gifting space in general. And that's where Noms really started to develop more into a gifting company rather than just a cookie company. So a, a differentiator for us is that we started to see how we could add special features that would make it, the gift more meaningful than maybe just like a gift basket that has pears in it. And so we went down the route of developing gift boxes that can be customized with your branding or with the recipient's name. Um, you know, we have full color uh, sleeves that fit over the gift boxes so you can design whatever you want. If it was an ev event and you wanted to do special messaging about the event to invite people or do room drops, you know, when that's a thing again. <laughs> um, yeah. But um, it's, it, we've created an opportunity for people to customize these gifts to make them meaningful for the recipient beyond just, you know, a traditional gift basket but it is still easy for the sender to do that on a larger scale so that they're not overwhelmed with, you know, trying to send something different to every single person. So it's kind of just a marriage of the best of both worlds in that it's easy to send and it is still meaningful for the recipient to receive. And that's kind of how we came to be. And that's where we've been living uh, thus far is really, you know, we, we cater to anybody that needs a gift um, whether that is a birthday or a promotion, but a huge part of our business is corporate gifting and helping people deliver gifts that have their branding and messaging on it. Yeah, I love how you noticed at some point all these people were doing these corporate gifts and it kind of was like the sea of sameness, you know, so, mm -hmm. you know, you could have just been like, we're a bakery, we make nice cookies, yay. But you noticed that, hey, here's something where we could expand or shift or pivot into um, and then help to stand out. So that's that was really like a, a moment that you hear so many times on Shark Tank. You know, I was looking for this, couldn't find it, so I made it myself. And you guys uh, did that. So um, let's talk a little bit more about maybe what you see in corporate gifting. Uh, what are some of the benefits? You know, because I would think that you've got, you know, yay, good job, employee, you did a good job, here's this gift, or good job, team, you landed this contract. But do you find also that the sales and marketing teams are using this to help increase sales? Absolutely. So, yeah, I think that gifting is very powerful in a lot of different places in the corporate world. And, of course, there's the holidays and these the special events where you want to send a, a token to celebrate somebody. But on the marketing and sales side, we have seen a tremendous amount of activity in the gift-giving world for a couple of reasons. Um, one uh, is in prospecting, so to actually – get the attention of a prospective client or partner by kind of cutting through that noise that you see in the email marketing world. Because right now, you know, I think direct mail used to be kind of an older thing. And then email marketing used to be a cheaper, more effective way to reach the inbox of so many people, you know, in one click. But because in e email marketing is now just that is a thing that has to happen. Everybody has to have it. Now your inbox gets very noisy with that. And so direct mail is actually making a comeback in that it is landing right on the desk of somebody that you want to connect with. And so what better way to do that than to send a gift of something that is actually personal and uh, enjoyable, right? The, a lot of you, most people enjoy cookies. I know there's a, a, always an exception, but, um, but to receive a, an assortment of cookies in a gift box that's been tailored for you, that is a really personal, special touch that somebody makes. And that really conveys, you know, hey, this is how I value connecting with you. And this is the kind of service that you're going to get from me. And so it really stands out. And so we have seen a huge shift in sales and marketing, taking on gift giving as a tool to help build relationships, open up the door for more connections, and uh, really leave a lasting impression with people. So it's, uh, it's been interesting to watch that kind of shift, but it's, it's really valuable and people are really seeing the return on that, which I think is great. You know, I think it's, it's uh, neat to think about the kind of like, I, I like to think of it as the shelf life. So if you give a gift and it is, I don't know, let's just 
call it a, you know, an Amazon gift card. So they get it. They think, oh, that was nice that Billy sent me that gift card. How nice of him. And they load it in their Amazon account, and that's it. And then they, when they order the next Amazon thing, they just are paying and they're moving right along. With what you're describing, the impact initially is like the thud factor. It's like, now that's nice. And then more so, it you don't eat the – It's not. I'm sure it's not one cookie and you eat it and it's done. It, it's it got some longevity there because you're going to eat it in stages, eat them in stages. And maybe if you're even fancy and you send it to their job, it's going to go in the workroom and they're going to go, wow, who is that? And then maybe that expands whatever uh, um, company sent this so that now you get that amplification. So talk a little bit about that longevity – and what you're noticing your clients saying about when people receive these. Oh, absolutely. So you hit on a couple of really important points, which is the experience and the reaction, right? There's, there's something special about somebody receiving a gift from you, um, getting your attention, and then having the positive experience associated with it also. So, you know, if I send a gift and it has the recipient's name on it and it has me – even my company logo, just to say it's from me. And then it's filled with these amazing cookies that maybe I'm sharing with other people in the office. There is that really positive experience that does last and it, and it enforces kind of that, that, you know, memory of the person. So you remember who actually sent that. And in regards to longevity, another thing that we have um, offered and that we've created in the same light is we offer gift boxes that have uh, four uh, panels that are full full color and they fit over the gift box secure and it can have your whole design on it. And that is amazing. But there's also another gift box that we offer that is a wooden cigar style slide top box. And we etch the logo or name, whatever you'd like on the top. So it could be your logo or it could be the recipient's you know, name or happy birthday or whatever that is, it's a keepsake gift box. So after you enjoy those cookies, if you're sending someone a gift box that has their logo on it or their name on it, the odds are that they are going to keep it. Um, You know, we don't have a lot of people that toss that. They use them as displays or catch-alls or something, you know, storage at work. And, and we, uh, have created this kind of gift box because it is long lasting and it is a way to be top of mind throughout the years or go back for a lot of companies that are interested in referrals. You know, this is a very valuable tool for them because they're always on somebody's desk to kind of tie back to, you know, referring them or if they just need to renew service or they just want to continue working with them. It's kind of always there to help the person or help the company stay top of mind with that recipient. And that is something that we found is like tremendously valuable when it comes to our customers in wanting to connect with their customers. Yeah. And I think the temptation now, you know, you could probably say um, you could flip a coin and it's six of one half dozen of the other on whether you should put your company logo there or the person you're sending it to their name logo or something about them. I would think and and say that you might have a little bit more uh, um, impact if you're sending it to, you know, the Johnsons, let's say, and maybe it is, you know, a a client thank you and you put, you know, the Johnson family etched on there and because everyone's favorite name is themselves, right? And so um, I think rather than, you know, your logo of XYZ insurance company, if it's the insurance broker, you know, that's nice and it's going to be there and maybe possibly that's going to be part somewhere down in there where they know that. But I think that you're going to get that really deep connection where the Johnsons have that even on display later, like with a holiday thing. And they're like, oh, that's a cool box. Where'd you get it? Oh, my insurance guy did that. Oh, really? My insurance guy doesn't do that. Who do you have? And I think that that that's going to be more um, remarkable, you know, like the ability to be remarked about. So have you seen any indication with your clients you work with on some that use their own logo, some that use the person they're sending it to and what the differences are? Yeah, absolutely. So I have definitely seen, true to your point, people love to see their own logo or name on things. So uh, it is very impactful if we send um, a prospective client, for example, something with their logo on it. Um, they, you know, they absolutely love it. That being said, a lot of companies want to send something with their logo to the recipient because they want that 
to be displayed. Yeah. However, I do believe that if you are giving somebody something meaningful like that, they will remember that it's from you. So I, I personally lean towards people love to see their own thing. So if you, it, will, it will really elevate the gift if it's meaningful to the recipient. And that's not to say that they don't work with you or value your partnership, but if there's, depending on the level of your relationship with them, they might not have the, that same reaction to get a, a box that necessarily has your logo on it. However, there are a couple things. I think it depends on where you're at, um, what the purpose of the gift is, when it is, what your relationship is, and then also um, what your strategy is behind it. So for example, we've had clients send out our classic white boxes that have that full color sleeve as a gift to a prospect. And it has it has their, not the recipient, it has the company's logo on it because they're yeah. trying to, you know, capture their attention, get, their, get them to have a meeting. And then once they are a client, they've sent them a wooden box for the holidays or something, yeah. you know, as more of an appreciation gift. Well, that client definitely knows who it came from and they, and they value that and it's a keepsake that makes sense to them. So I think it really elevates that. Um, for some clients we've had that really, really do still want their logo or their messaging on there, we do offer upgrades where you can add um, an extra surface to etch on. And so we've had them etch on both sides of the lid. So one side might say the Johnson's, you know, 2020. And then on the other side, it might say, you know, Starbucks or whatever the, whatever yeah, the, brand, the brand is that's sending it. And so that way it still exists on there but the client still feels or the recipient still feels like, you know, oh, this is really cool. It has our family name on it. And this is now I'm definitely displaying it somewhere, but I still know who it came from. You know, I still have their contact info on the other side, things like that. Yeah, that makes total sense. Are, or do you see certain industries leaning more toward corporate gifting than others? Or is it just literally any corporate entity could be, should be sending gifts. And maybe there's a whole uh, process and strategy behind that, that you would be able to help them uh, understand and uh, see how to implement. I think that gifting, I might be biased, but I feel that gifting is actually very powerful in a lot of places and being in this company and creating it. I've actually started gifting a lot more, not, not just, not our cookies, but I've started gifting a lot more in general now that I'm starting to see the value behind it and how it makes people feel. And, and that special moment really does just create a better connection because you're making someone's day. And I think seeing that has made me as a personal or just as an individual more likely to gift just for other occasions that I wouldn't normally. Um, and in our company and in the corporate world, I do think that gifting is valuable across the board. However, the companies that we are the most common, like we're seeing commonly, are um, a mixture of things. So there's software companies uh, use us quite a bit for their prospecting. Um, we work with a ton of real estate professionals, insurance, mortgage, title, lending, um, people that are, work in referral-based businesses that really, they're relationship-based businesses. It's about your client and having a relationship with them. And that is, that is your entire profession. And so they definitely utilize gifting in a, in a different way. You know, they're not doing blanket prospective gifting. They're doing real individual either closing or congratulations gifts or, or even just like one year anniversary of your house or your birthday because you do have that personal relationship with the client. And so that gifting is a little bit different. Um, but there's tons of different um, just independent professionals that utilize gifting throughout the year. And then every company really uses it across the board for the holiday season or New Year's or something like that to really just honor the, the clients that they currently have and, and let them know that they're appreciated. So yeah. there's really a place for gifting in every single company. And then there's also just more of a opportunity for more strategic gifting. And that depends on your company and where you're trying to find your clients or how you're trying to nurture those relationships. 
Well, Chelsea, it's been so neat talking about gifting and how to stand out and how to do it the right way. So let us uh, uh, wrap up with what's the best way people can reach out and learn more about NOMS. Oh, sure. Yeah. So our website is uh, getnoms.com. So just G-E-T, and as in Nancy, O, M as in Mary, S.com. And our, we're also on Instagram and Facebook. You can find us on Facebook under Noms Bake Shop. And on Instagram, we are the same as our website, which is just at, and it's Get Noms. And we are, yeah, on Instagram, Facebook, and you can contact us through the website. You can actually shop on there. Uh, we ship nationwide. So we are a completely online-based uh, gifting company, so you can ship anywhere in the country and uh, customize right there online, or we have a designer on staff, so we are always happy to kind of create a vision for you and see what, what works for you. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming on. It's been really great talking with you. I really appreciate it. It was a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, let me know if you guys need any gifts or any cookies. <laughs> You've been listening to Influential Entrepreneurs with Mike Saunders. To learn more about the resources mentioned on today's show or listen to past episodes, visit www.influentialentrepreneursradio.com.